Greetings and salutations, party people. This is Merlin, and I am on PAX, uh, what is this, 13 through 19, 18, 13 through 18 of Commander Legends. Now, about the time that I release this video and get it all edited, Commander Legends 2, something something Baldur's Gate, will be out in the market. And so, in order to prevent confusion, this is not anything related to Baldur's Gate. Okay, cool. We've gotten that out of the way. So, uh, yeah, we got six to crack. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Sorry, pack number 13. No, crap. Yeah, 13. I can't count. So, I also can't read my cards according to Mr. Pink, but whatever. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to uh, blow through these, so... Have some fun. All right. Uh, so we're into the rares. Uh, so we got an Ember Wild Captain. Um, when in uh, for three and a red, you get a Gin Pirate. Dun dun dun. I already made the. I already made the Aladdin joke before, so uh, yeah, I apologize. I look trash in the middle of the shot. Slappiest channel on the internet, folks. Uh, so when an Ember Wild Captain enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Ugh, God. Whenever an opponent attacks while you are the monarch, you deal damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand. All right. Yeah, I guess if you like being the monarch. Uh, all right, what do we got next? Uh, something, I'm not sure. Boop. All right, first legendary. Oops, here goes the... Rare. First legendary, uh, a room, a Raumi of the Dead Tide for one blue and a black. Uh, you get a legendary creature, uh, Merfolk Wizard. All right, so if I tap this, I can exile targets from my graveyard, my graveyard equal to the number of opponents you have. Target creature card in your graveyard gains Encore until the end of the turn. The Encore cost is equal to its mana cost. All right, so if I'm reading this right, I will exile, uh, I wonder if this applies to more than one target, I guess it's, no, I guess I get to pick, so if I exile, like, let's say four cards from the graveyard, one of, two of them are creatures, it sounds like I get to pick one, so uh, we'll have to check the rule book with that, uh, I'll get Mr. Pink to educate me or tell me how to read my cards, me, um, but the Encore cost is equal to its mana cost, so usually you pay extra for this, but this is kind of nice. And uh, Encore, you're going to create a co token copy that attacks each opponent this turn, if able. They have haste. They get sacrificed. All right. So legendary creature will go on. What do we got? Oops, we got another something something. It's got partner, so it's going to be have a, a legendary of some sort. It's a 6-6, six, six, kind of big. What do we got? Kodoma of the East Tree. Not, the, not to be confused with the West Tree. This is a legendary creature spirit. Four and two green. It is a rare. It has reach. It's a tree, of course. Well, that's that looks like that thing. Uh, if you watched the anime for um, The Witcher, this looks like that thing that was trying to kill, well, that straight up slaughtered a family in like a, a carriage in the Netflix anime. So if you haven't seen that, go see it. It's pretty awesome, especially when it eats the kids. Um, no, I'm not grim at all. Uh, anyways, this thing's got reach. When another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put on a battlefield with this ability, with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. Hmm. That might be fun. If it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to read the rules on that one too. Crap. All right. Good, good legendary. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Let me get my stuff here. In the picture. Sloppiest channel on the internet. Oh, oh, look. A foil arcane signet. Eh, that's... God, in this light, my crappy light here, it is very hard to see, so... There we go. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! I got a copy of a copy! Wait, does that mean I have a copy of a copy of a copy? I don't know. All right. More to come. Time for pack number two. Sorry, pack number 14. I'll remember this. Just give me until like the end of the box and I'll remember what number I'm on. Oh my gosh, quit turning the machines around when you package this crap. Yeah, I blame you, Janine. All right, here we go. Uh, this is what I think about commons.
right, we're into our first rare. And uh, it's a shapeshifter, four and two blue. A creature shapeshifter, Sakashima's protege. Sakashima, what is she doing? I'm taking a closer look off camera. Um, all right, I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on there, man. She may be having a, tri she may be getting trippy at a party. Anyways, uh, flat, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe she's dying every every time and then coming back and then dying and coming back to the same crappy birthday party. Uh, that's a Russian doll reference for those of you who don't, don't get it. Stitch will love me. Uh, let's see. Flash, Cascade. Um, I can exile cards from the top of my library until I exile a non-land card that costs less than this. I can cast it without paying its mana cost. And then the, all the exile cards go to the bottom. You may have Sakashima's protege enter the battlefield as a copy of any permanent that enter the battlefield this turn. That's actually kind of a cool rare. I, yeah, that might be kind of fun. It's kind of expensive, though, so you got to have leftover mana. All right, what else we got? Do we have... Oh, yep, first legendary. Here we go. Drum roll or massive fart. I don't care. Uh, Arden, intrepid archaeo... What? Arden, intrepid archaeologist. What is this? Okay, two and a white legendary creature. Core scout. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you attach any normal of, number of auras and equipment you control to target permanent or player. Eh, okay. That's fine. Let's see what we got next. Uh, oop, another partner. Legendary coming up. Another uncommon legendary. We'll push these off to the side a little bit. There we go. And what do we got? We got Kaidus, Emberclaw Familiar. All right. So this is an elemental lizard. One in red. Whenever a commander you control deals combat damage to any opponent. An opponent. It deals that much damage to each other opponent. Ooh. This could be kind of fun. It's cheap. You get out a couple of times. Oh, no. All right. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh, we may have a full art card here. Uh, let's go. Boom. Oh, my gosh. It's hard to read. Fun foil for the win. Um, all right. So it is Timna the Weaver. All right. So this blind woman's making a spider web. Yeah, she's gotten a little, she's got a little cuckoo. Um, yeah. Uh, where's Timna? Oh, she's up in the, she's up in her tower doing what? I don't know. Making rolls of spider webs and shit. Uh, this this human cleric for one white and a black. Uh, she's a 2-2 two -two lifelink. At the beginning of your post-combat main phase, you may pay X life, where X is the number of opponents that were dealt combat damage this turn. If you do, draw X cards. Wow. Okay. Um, sorry, Tim. Now you're going to just have to... You're gonna, you know what? I tell you what. Why don't you invite... Um, why don't you invite Rapunzel over and you can hang out in your little tower doing whatever the F you want. All right, what do we got last? Okay, and oh, yay, my favorite card, the Monarch card. Yeah, because I, I, I don't want to be the Monarch. All right, so there you go. I got one, two, and three legendary creatures. This is kind of a, actually, this is a mythic. It's hard, it's that hard to read. I'm going to have to go look at this. So, uh yeah, Janine, if I missed the price when you flashed it up on the screen, I did not notice it's a mythic. That's how hard the foils are to read. So, interesting. Okay, I got a mythic and two uncommon legendaries in pack number two. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Uh, so, um, between packs two and three, this is pack three, uh, I looked up Timna the Weaver. Uh, it was a foil etched um, uh, one black and a white... Uh, mythic, and man, uh, Janine filled me in, man. It's It was uh, pretty good. So if you uh, skip that part of the video, go back. Uh, she's got all the all the news on that one. I didn't look like really impressive to me, so I'll have to go back and think about the strategy. All right. This is pack number three. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I got another mythic. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Um, six and two blue. I get Sphinx of the Second Sun. Uh, it is a six, six flyer at the beginning of your post combat main phase. You get an ex additional beginning phase after this phase. The beginning phase includes the untap, upkeep, and draws. <gasps> Ooh. All right, Janine. Uh, if you haven't already done so, if I'm behind, put the, uh, put the price on that. That's awesome. All right. I'm very excited about that. All right. What do we got? Oh, legendary. 
put the mythic way over here where it belongs. And I've got Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, a Goblin Pirate. I think I got him earlier. I wasn't too impressed. So three and a red, Legendary Creature, Goblin Pirate. Menace, whenever two more two or more parrots you control. Nope, don't care. All right, uh, let's see, what do we got? Another partner. And it is, uh, I think I might have gotten this. Anara, Wolf, Vid, Familiar. Okay, so it's a, wow. This is a little bit of a prissy wolf. She's got like a horny thing going on, okay. As long as it's your turn, uh, that's a three, green, three and a green. As long as it's your turn, commanders you control have indestructible. Kind of cool. And it's partner. All right. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's see what else I got. Uh, okay. And my, okay. I think I got these in foil before. These are eye blight colors. Okay. I think I got those in foil earlier. All right. What do we get? I got another legendary. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to put this down here. And I got a uh, prismatic piper. Every third pack, I think, is what the rule is. So pff, we know what this is. Nothing. And then I got a zombie. Oh, this guy strutting around. Yo, man, you seen you seen my the bottom of my jaw? No? Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. All right. Pack number four. Here we go. Uh, so last last pack three was um, and two and three actually were pretty good. So let's see what pack four. I'm, maybe I'm gonna roll here. All right. Here we go. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do. Okay, uh, we're about to get into our first rare, so let's see what we got. Scroll Rack. It's two colorless. It's an artifact. If I tap it for one, exile any number of cards from your hand face down. Put that many cards from the top of your library into your hand. Then look at the exile cards and put them on top of your library. Oh, wow. Scroll Rack. That's kind of cool. So you're like, okay, so this is, yeah, this is a library joke or something. Okay, I'm going to rearrange stuff and put the, you know, Yes, boss. I'll have ever. I'll have the TPS reports. Uh, TPS reports filed. That's that is a mythic artifact too. That's actually pretty slick. Okay, Janine. Uh, make sure we showed everybody the price on scroll rack. Wow, that's the third mythic in three packs. All right, we're gonna set that over there. Boop. And what do we get? A legendary human archer, Halana Kessig Ranger, going through the woods shooting at stuff for I don't know field and stream. Uh, three and a green. She got reach. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I can pay two. If I do, that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. All right. I, I could see that being useful. Have her out there. If you can keep her out there, what do I got? I got another legendary partner. Two, two. Togo. Goblin Weaponsmith. All right. He's got two and a red. He's a goblin artificer. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's got there. Anything. All right, that's like some guy's, some other giant's testicle or something. So, yikes. Um, whenever a land enters the battlefield under the control, create a colorless equipment artifact token, token named Rock. Oh, maybe it's just a rock. All right, so the nut joke doesn't uh, fly. Equipped creature has one and tap it, sacrifice a rock. This creature deals two damage to any target and equip one. All right, now the nut joke fell on its face. All right, we got, all right, Portent of Betrayal. What is this? This is uh, three and a red. It's a common sorcery. Gain control of target creature until the end of the turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste. Uh, okay, I guess so. And then a spirit. Okay, uh, we're on a pack number five. Uh, last three packs. Uh, I have gotten a mythic in each pack, so... Um, uh, Things are looking up for this uh, box. We'll see how it all turns out in the end uh, when I get through the rest of it. Here we go. Oh, there's our drug dealer again. Still got that bag of Coke. All right, our first common is an Elvis Dread... Elvis. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. an Elvish Dreadlord. Um, I definitely, man, that is really hard to see. It's not even full. It's like, I don't know. It's he's wearing, he's got purple. So it must be Elvis. I'm going to call this Elvis Dreadlord for shits and giggles. Um, three and two black. It's a rare zombie elf. It's got death touch. 
When it dies, non-elf creatures get minus three, minus three until the end of turn. Uh, I can play this for Encore for five and two black, and then I can do stuff with it. And I guess, I guess I sacrifice them. Man, so if somebody's got an elf deck, uh, I guess this could do a lot of damage to a bunch of tokens. That's kind of, it's kind of fun. I don't know. Um, so yeah, all right. Let's see what we got next. And I got a, I don't know what I got. I got a legendary, for, wow, first, one of the first legendaries without partner. Uh, Kangi Skywarden. This guy's got birds. He is going to get covered in bird poop. I mean, seriously, he's there flying a high. I don't know. Maybe he's the warden. Maybe he's directing them to poop on things. Uh, three, three white and a bl blue. Uh, he's got flying vigilance whenever he attacks. Attacking creatures with flying get plus two, so he basically is giving them Taco Bell, and they're going to shit all over their opponents. Whenever Kangi blocks, blocking creatures with flying get zero two until end of turn. So they're little, they're little angry birds, I guess. So yeah, and it's another rare. No, it's a, it's a legendary rare. Uh, black and a green, Belby, corrupted observer. Okay, she seems like you don't, you know, kind of eyeballing you in the bar. Maybe you're gonna call her boyfriend to come rob you after you leave, drunk later at night. Uh, at the beginning of each player's post-combat main phase, that player adds uh, two colorless for each of your opponents who lost life this turn. Hmm. Okay. Not sure about that. Uh, and then my, I got a brazen freebooter. A human pirate. I can't even read it. I don't really care. It's it's something about treasure, so uh, a guard would enjoy it. And then a soldier. Pack number six. Let's do this. Last one of round three. This is uh, pack number 18 out of uh, this Commander Legends, so uh, you know what's happening here. Move. <laughs> Right, first uh, rare is going to be wrong turn. Pretty bad. Uh, pretty bad horror movie. Target opponent uh, for two and a blue. It's an instant target opponent gains control of target creature. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, I guess you could cause some problems with that. So that's my rare, and then I get a legendary. Again, no partner. I think I've, uh, I guess the partner gas has run out. So. Uh, Talise, Reverend Medium. Um, she's got all them ghosts she's talking to. Uh, three white and a black. And at the beginning of each end step, create X, one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying, where X is the number of tokens you created this turn. Okay. All right, all right let's see what we got next. Looks like we got another goodie here. It's got partner, and I'm going to pull it. Oh, I got a mythic. And... Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, three and a blue. She's a human rogue. You may have Sakashima of a Thousand Faces into the battlefield as a copy of another creature you control, except it has Sakashima of a Thousand Faces other abilities. The legend rule doesn't apply to permanents you control. Wow. Okay. Janine, uh, be sure to, if you haven't already done it, make sure. Oops, look at me hitting the card. Eep. Put it up there. All right. Nice. I'm very happy with this. All right. And then my foil is a common Ivy Lane Denison. Don't care. And a spirit token. So uh, six packs. Let's see what we came out with. Uh, first of all, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Well, I got another copy of a copy. Some tokens here. Uh, I got a nice stack of commons. Uh, there we go. Um, the one that matters to me right now. Command Tower, always good to have one of those, so very nice. Uh, and in the Uncommons, uh, the Uncommons, uh, not counting the Legendaries, uh, got a nice little stack. I got a Thought Vessel and uh, Arcane Signet in foil, so not sure if that one's worth anything, Janine. Um, let's uh, check out those two, see if they're worth anything. All right, and uh, yeah, so we'll work our way up. And then uh, for rares, I got uh, one, two, three, four rares. Doesn't sound like much. Um, Sakashima's protege um, is one of them. So Janine, uh, what's uh, what's the value of our rares? Four out of the pack. Uh, Non-legendary, I should mention. All right. 
cool. And then um, in keeping with uh, one one legendary creature per pack, uh, I managed to snag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So excuse me, two two um, legendaries per pack. And uh, Janine, let's see what uh, those those twelve are going to be worth. Um, and then uh, finally, man, um, this was probably my best set. Uh, we got uh, Timna the Weaver, uh, a etched foil mythic. Um, let's go ahead and show that one off, uh, Janine. All right. And then the other ones I got, uh, I got more mythics, uh, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, and then Scroll Rack, which is, you know, filing TPS reports with your deck. Uh, yeah, so nice. Um, 12 legendaries, 12 legendaries and three mythics, one of which is a legendary. I'm very happy with these. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for round four. Stay safe.